what is up what is up what is up fs club tuesday got new dlc today got some new mods as you guys can see homer dlc launch day hopefully you guys are all having a good day remember if you guys have not followed us on twitter make sure you guys do it's at fs club xbox or on facebook at fs club console also on the facebook if you are part of that community make sure you guys go down here uh cat aka snoop cat 89 is coming back to streaming which platform would you guys like to see her on click that ps ps4 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 that way she can join us uh when we do our streams uh, poll ends in six days guys so let's get to the mods that are in testing let's go down here on the pc side we have the rdc fs19 i have no idea what that is then we have the Case IH Puma, the Class MT800E100 Jari Class Edition, Contractor Mod, CSZ Equipment Pack, which just came out today for console and for PC, One Axle Trailer, Pickup 2014 Transport Service, which was an update that was released today, the Zudberg 1500 Kilogram. Then we have the Bell Fork for Tele Handler, this is on the PS4 and Xbox One, Case IH LB434 r which was released today. The CSZ Equipment Pack, which was released. The Dutch Ratmaster 4044. Flegel Manure Fork. For Schritt HW80 Shaw. FS19 Dull Range, which I can't find no information about that. I just know it's a map. Uh, then we have the Homer HR6 Header. The Homer HR9 Header. The Cody Garant PT16000, uh, which was released today. The Crimpy 10L 20L Dolly Pack. Limpkey, which is a map, Machine Hall, Obstacles Horse Sport, Palfinger Forest Shield, Peterville Farm from our good friend over at MG Modding. Can't wait for that one to come out to console. Uh, Stall MS Black Edition, Pacific Northwest 19, which I believe that's a forestry map, if I'm not mistaken. Then we have the Wilson Paysetter A Train. Number of mods waiting to be tested is 70. Current average waiting time for newly submitted mods is four weekdays. And guys, I have not heard anything about Welker's Farm. Uh, hopefully they did send it off and hopefully we will be seeing it on the testing list in either the next few days or the next few weeks. Okay, let's go down here. Uh, TRW, you are open the forms and there's one update. Okay. Uh, so guys, let's head over to the PS4 and look at these new mods. Okay, here we are on the PS4. New mods in today, guys, so let's go check these out. First, go to the mod section. Uh, make sure you click that show all mod button, like always. Uh, forestry equipment, we have the Palfinger Forest Shield by Ready90. Uh, this is a forest crane for a three-point lift up. Oh, that sounds cool. This, the support can be moved independently of the crane. Price is 25500 Wow, that's... This definitely looks a little really weird on here. Okay, so let's install that one. Under slurry tanks, we have the Cody Grant PT-16000 by Agra. Uh, let's see, price is 66000 Max working speed is 17 kilometers per hour and working width is 15.1 to 30. Wow. Bailing technology, we have the Case IH LB434 R by Mafu FS. Uh, price is 155. Wow, 155,000. That's expensive. Max working speed is 20 kilometers per hour and required power is 160. That is really expensive for a baler. Uh, packages, let's see. We have the CSZ equipment pack by DD Mod Possession. A lot of people probably will remember this from FS17. This is a big pack, guys. I actually use this thing a lot. Uh, let's see. The equipment pack. Let's see. Comes with uh, tractors to telehandler, skid steer loaders to front loaders. Uh, these are the adapters right here. Uh, front loaders to skid steer loaders, front loaders to telehandlers, telehandlers to front loaders, telehandlers to wheel loaders, wheel loaders to telehandlers, then shovels. We got the multi purpose bucket. Uh, 1,500, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000. Multi-purpose uh, bucket with grabber, forged teeth, 2,000, 2,500, 3,500, and 4,500. Uh, grabber with monoblock, 2,000, 2,500, 3,500, 4,500. Horizontal grid bucket, 1,500, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000. Okay, this, yeah, it's, it's a lot, guys. So let's go ahead and install this. 
And then uh, we did get the DLC today, so make sure you guys do download that one. Okay, the thing about the DLC at this time of recording, right now on PlayStation, you cannot download it. Usually, it's about 9, 10 o'clock Central Standard Time when you can actually download it. I did make a video on it, so make sure you guys go ahead and check it out. It should be the video right before this one. Okay, let's make sure we do not have anything else. Uh, let's see. That is not new. And that is not new. Go over here real quick. And that is it. So let's go into the map and check out these, uh, well, these one, two, three, four mods. Four mods, well, three mods and one big pack. Okay, the first one we have is under bailing technology. Where are you, bailing technology? There you are. Uh, let's see, right there we have the case uh, LB434R. It is six slots, uh, 4,000 liters. Uh, $155,000. Jeez, that thing's expensive. Which, same amount as liters, nine slots. Wow. Less slots, though. That's a plus. Okay, so let's see this thing. There it is right there, the LB434R. The thing is huge, though. Okay, really nice. Really, really nice. Okay, the next thing we have, let's go over, I think it's under, where would it be under? Uh, where's forestry equipment? Let's check into forestry equipment real quick. Yeah, there it is, the Palfinger Forest Shield is 25,500. It is 16 slots, and required horsepower is 88. This vehicle can transport tree logs. Oh, wow. That thing is definitely different. Uh, you can change the color from red, orange, blah, gelb. Yeah, green, <laughs> blue. Let's just keep it red. Okay, that is definitely different. Okay, we'll go through these first and then we'll try out some of these. Okay, the next thing we have is, let's go, I think it's under slurry tanks. Yes, there we go. The Grant PT-16,000. It is 66,000. It is 18 slots. Required horsepower is 150. This takes, of course, slurry or di digestate. Uh, you can change the main color from either dark green, black, or stainless steel. Uh, I actually like the, gr uh, the dark green. Uh, configuration, you can have gooseneck distributor. Ooh. Or 30, uh, 30 bar distributor. Or three-point hydraulic. Let's do the big one. That's an extra twenty-eight thousand dollars, though. Trailboard Michelin. Let's put Michelin. We got standard or wide tires. So there, that is. Wow, that thing is nice. Okay, so what that did was basically make a bigger boom on it. So. Okay, the next thing, the last thing is, this one's going to be a fun one. We are going to have to go through these things and look at these, uh, the CSC, uh, pack, which is going to be pretty big. Okay. Uh, looks like this thing also came, yeah, it comes with a John Deere front loader. Uh, well, that's cool. Uh, 5,400, it is four slots. So let's get this one. It's going to be a big pack, guys. Uh, the FZ30 three slots you can change the main color on that one let's just keep it black so we don't get mixed up uh, this one's 8,000 the FZ 60 three slots okay then we have adapters we have the adapter for 250 it is three slots this is for a front loader uh, this one 300 this was for a front loader three slots too multi-purpose bucket this is 2.7 meter width Four slots, it can hold 2,000. Okay, multi purpose bucket with grubber forged teeth is 5,300. 2.7 meters, it can hold 2,500 liters. Pretty much take anything. That thing looks pretty cool. Uh, then the mono block 5,300, 2.7, 2,500. So this thing, this pack is huge. Raptor bucket 2.7, 2,000 liters. Uh, this game, the game does not include the discharge of the shovel in two different ways. We have chosen to deactivate the frontal discharge to allow the use of customized discharge of the shovel. Okay. 
Okay, we got the grid buck, which is 3,900, 2.5 meters, which this one's for usually for potatoes or sugar beets. Uh, the grubber, 4,800, 2.5, 2,500. Yeah, this, this is a big, big pack. Vertical grid bucket, 2.5, 2,000 liters. Uh, bucket with grabber, 4,800, four slots, 2,500. Uh, bucket with central discharge, 2.5, 2,000 liters, three slots. Uh, hopper bucket, 2.5, 2,000 liters, and it's three slots. Go fill up this whole thing. Okay, we have a silage bucket, which is 2.5, 2,000 liters. Okay, and I think that's it of that. Let's see, make sure there's nothing in the wheel loaders. Yes, there is. Okay, in the wheel loaders, we have the adapter, which is 350. So let's install that one. Uh, Multi-purpose bucket, which is 5,900. This one holds 4,000 liters, though. So this one's a lot bigger than the other ones. Ooh, 5,000 liters, 2.7, four slots. Uh, grubber, 9,700, 4,500. Uh, monoblock, 9,700, it holds 4,500. The Raptor bucket holds 4,000, it is three slots. Grid bucket, 4,000 liters. Uh, how many slots was that? That's four slots. So pretty much all these are gonna be either four slots or three slots. And we have the grid bucket, which is four slots. Okay. And then we have the vertical grid bucket, which is 4,000 liters and four slots. Uh, vertical grid bucket, 9,600, 4,500. Uh, let's get that one. Bucket with central discharge, uh, 4,000 liters, three slots. Jeez. Go to run out of room soon. Hopper bucket, 7,800, three slots. Okay, and then the silage bucket, which is 9,800, four slots. And this thing holds 4,000 liters. And that is that of the wheel loaders. Telehandlers, probably. Yep. There's all these in the telehandler section. I'm not going to get all these. Skid steers. Let's see if there's anything in skid steers. Yes, there is. There's the smaller versions, 1500. So, as you can see, there is tons and tons in this pack. There is a lot of stuff. Wow. Okay. Wow. You even had to put some over here. I started running out of room. Okay, let's get a tractor real quick because we're gonna take a look at something. Let's just get uh, let's just get the John Deere 6M. Just lease it real quick. Okay. Let's also turn on the help window. Okay. The thing I want to test is this thing right over here. So how do you hook this thing up? Am I going the wrong way? I think I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, I'm probably going the wrong way. Oh wait, it would probably help if I had a three-point attacher, huh? Yeah, I messed up. So let's get rid of that one. Let's get, um... There we go, Fent 700. I knew I should just stick it with the Fent. Okay. I'm trying to see how this thing actually, like, works. Okay, there's the force shield thing. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, let's see. You got unfold front loader tool. So when you unload it. Oh, cool. So there's that, and then you basically lower the front loader. And there you go. Now, you, now it's stabilized. And then, yep, there you go. See? So you control group crane. Let's see if we have anything else. Up, down, up, down. Turn. Okay, that is cool. Okay, uh, let's see. Lift. Now fold back up. Okay, the cool thing about this is 
It looks like there's a hitch right there too. And you can put this thing down like this and use this thing for a log shovel. Ooh, jeez. Okay, so that is that one. Let's uh, get rid of this real quick. Okay, so that is the mods for today, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section uh, below. If we do get more mods, guys, remember, I will make another video. Uh, if you guys did like this video, make sure you guys pound that like button. Let me know in the comment section below which mod you like best. The CSZ set, uh, the, the Grant, uh, this log thing, or the case. Let me know in the comment section below, guys. Like always, if you guys did like this video, make sure you guys pound that like button. If you have not subbed, make sure you guys do hit that sub button along with that bell notification so every time we upload, you guys know about it. And like always, have an all-stay farmers. Peace.